Hello engineers, welcome to Engineer Brandon's Tools. So today we are going to do basic on MATLAB. We are going to do both plotting on MATLAB. So to begin, we are going to open a new script on MATLAB. We are going to rename it and save it. So I'm going to call it new bot plot. So for the start, we are going to plot this equation on the bot plot. So as you can see, we have here h of s equals this, 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 this. So we are going to write that equation on MATLAB and we are going to generate its bot plot in terms of magnitude and frequency. So for the start, we are going to say h equals t of f. So we are going to start with the highest power. So while looking at this equation, we notice that the highest power is 4. So we are going to write the highest power. We are going to start from the numerator with the highest power. And we are going to start from the denominator with the highest power. So the term in S to the 4 in the numerator is 0. So we are going to write 0. The term in S to the 3 in the numerator is 0. We are going to write 0. The term in S square in the numerator is 1. Since the coefficient of S square is 1, so we write 1. Then we continue. For S, we have 0 0.1. And for the constant term, we have 7.5. Then we now go to the denominator. So we just put a comma open another square bracket so we are going to start with the highest power s to the 4 coefficient 1 we will go to 0 0.12 for s cube for s square we will have 9 notice that it ends at s square so for s we will have 0 and for the constant term we will have 0 So to generate our board diagram, we simply put the syntax board. The inside, we we'll put H. So we will now run. So here is our board diagram that we have just generated. That is, this is the board diagram of this equation. So you notice that to do calculations here will be somehow complicated. So we can add a grid here by simply saying grid on. Then we run. So you notice that the grid here is on. If you can see, then the grid is on. Here is it. So I'm going to give you an exercise that you can pause the video and try it for five minutes. So here is an exercise for you. Plot this curve. I give you 10 minutes to do it. Okay, so time is up. So this is how we are going to proceed. We are going to rearrange. So you, you notice that it is difficult for you to have the terms in, the, in terms of powers of x, the coefficients in terms of powers of s. So we are going to rearrange them. Then if you rearrange this equation, it becomes this. So equation, equation becomes this. So this L of S here, this is it here. 
so we are now going to use this one to plot our board diagram on our MATLAB so here I'm going to wipe this so I'm going to write L equals T of L so you notice that there is no term in X for the numerator then the highest degree for S is 3 so we are going to say for numerator coefficient of S cube is 0 coefficient of S square 0 coefficient of S 0 and constant term 10 then we are going to the denominator so for the denominator you have coefficient of s cube 0 0.1 coefficient of s square 1.1 coefficient of s 1 constant term 0 so we will now say board of l grid on to on our grid and we are going to run So here, here is it. So we have generated the board plot for this particular equation. So on our board plot, we have magnitude in decibel and we have phase in degree. So here is our board diagram and both of them are represented in terms of frequency. So we are going to move to the next calculation of phase margin and phase gain. So here is our general here is our general equation phase margin calculation we have phase margin equals 180 degrees plus the phase angle of omega 1 where omega 1 is a frequency at which the gain is zero so let us calculate the phase margin of this particular board diagram so we notice that we have magnitude here and we have phase here so for the phase margin we have this where omega 1 is a frequency at which the gain is zero so we have gain here this gain magnitude so gain is zero here so to get the frequency at that point i come here then here I have gain to be zero. I locate it. Then I click here. So we notice that the frequency at that point is 3.42 radian per second. So that is it. That is the frequency at that point. So for the phase now, we go to its corresponding value downwards, which is here. So we have the phase. Phase is negative 183 degrees. So to get to get our phase margin, you simply add 180 degrees to that one 183. So we have our calculator here. So we are going to say 180 minus 183. So the phase margin in this case is zero degrees. So that is it for the phase margin. Then for the gain margin, we have 20 log magnitude of the gain of the function equals g star. Means gain margin is 10 to the negative g star on 20. Where g star here is, where g star is the gain at which the phase shift phi of omega equals an angle of negative 180. So to find the gain margin, we first have to find g star. So from our board plot, we can easily find G star. Since G star is the gain when the phase shift is negative 180. So here we have phase shift. So phase shift negative 180 occurs here. So we we'll find its corresponding magnitude. So here is it. So its magnitude is negative 2.19 decibel. It means here G star is negative 
2.19 decibel so to find our gain margin you simply put it here so that is it for the gain margin then um, I'll give another example that we are going to do I'm going to give you 10 minutes again to solve this one so you are going to do this calculate the gain margin and the face margin start ok your time is up so here is it you have to rearrange this equation in this form so we are going to use this we are going to we are going to do it together so here and notice our highest power is s cube so i'll start with the numerator coefficient of s cube is zero coefficient of s square is zero coefficient of s zero constant term one then i'll go to the denominator coefficient of s cube five coefficient of s square six coefficient of s one constant term zero so i'm going to generate the board diagram for this run so board diagram is generated so you notice that it is not very different from that other one but there's no problem the same system i think so we are going to find the face margin and the face gain so here again we have face margin face margin y equals 180 degrees plus phi of omega 1 where omega 1 is the frequency at which the gain is 0 so let us find the frequency at which the gain is 0 so here we have magnitude of gain so gain is 0 at this point so its frequency is 0 0.403 radian per second so at this particular frequency you have a phase shift of here directly vertical using the grid lines you have a phase shift of negative 176 degree so this phi of omega 1 this is it here negative 176 degree so we are going to use calculator we are going to say phase shift equals 180 degrees minus 176 mean face margin is four four degrees so that is it for the face margin then for the face gain i mean for the gain margin sorry gain margin equals 10 to the negative here is g here is g yes so for the gain margin gm equals 10 to the negative g on 20 so we are going to find this g star which is the gain at which the phase shift equals negative 180 degree so let us find the gain at which the phase shift is negative 180 so here is it so here we have gain here i think it's somewhere here it's somewhere in between so that gain here is the corresponding gain here 0 0.203 decibel this is just an approximation you notice that here we have negative 176 here we have negative 183 so it lies in between so here it lies in between so let us just approximate it to be 0 0.203 so that is our g star so in this case our g star you have 0 0.203 then we we'll substitute in here to get our gain margin. Okay, thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.